Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carl, and I'm going to make a YouTube tutorial series on the 8 puzzle, 9 puzzle, or the sliding puzzle. This will be my first YouTube video, so please, uh, please bear with me. Uh, and please leave any suggestions in the comment section. So first up, I will explain what the puzzle is, what it contains, and so forth. You will get two versions of the 9 puzzle, or the other versions is the 15 puzzle with... 16 blocks and 15 moving pieces the version i will be doing will be the eight puzzle which is a three by three nine blocks of uh, eight moving pieces there are different kinds of eight puzzle or 15 puzzles most of them have numbers but some of them have pictures as well and as you can see this is my demo project i made beforehand uh, for one of my assignments at university and as you can see, it has a 3x3 three three block with a bunch of tiles in it. And once it starts playing, I can show you um, how the game works. As you can see, if I click on a tile, it moves. The state it is in currently is called the goal state. It has, on the top left corner, the smallest number. It can start at 0 or 1 or whatever you may desire. And it um, goes from left to right in ascending order. Um, uh, 0, 1, 2, then the next row, 3, 4, 5, next row, 6, 7, and empty. Now, the goal of this project is to have a platform for an AI to solve the problem. Now, when I'm talking about AI, I do not mean... Auto, um, really complicated artificial intelligence. Uh, I'm talking about search algorithms. Now, search algorithms can be used in a lot of different scenarios. This will be one of the scenarios. Uh, you usually get this as a project uh, in IT or computer science. Okay. The type of searches we will be doing will be a breath, ser breath first search or a amalgamation of other search algorithms, for instance, A star algorithm or min max algorithm. But uh, min max is a poor choice for this type of scenario because there's no, um, no attributes to min or max, there's only the best path to solve the puzzle. Another goal, of, uh, another goal of the project is to have the player and AI both be able to play the game. To have a randomized button to to um, randomize board and the steps forward for this uh, project from this first video will be to implement a ui interface like i did in my base project to implement the basic mechanics so that the player and ai can both uh, interact with the uh, puzzle that the player sees to implement a game manager for uh, um, checking if um, if the game is won, if it has to be randomized, just a script to handle most of the um, the game managing side of things, and then after that, uh, I will implement AI, a search algorithm to help um, to solve the puzzle. Now, there's a few things you will need for this tutorial. Uh, you will need some basic c -sharp and Unity experience. It's not necessary to have a lot of experience um, in Unity or c -sharp to be able to do this project, but it is highly recommended. Um, I personally recommend um, Brackies. Uh, he's a YouTuber um, that has excellent tutorials on Unity and c -sharp. And... Within this project, we will also find that we will run into a few problems with this project. Uh, for instance, the unsolvable puzzle um, scenario, which if we go to the 15 puzzle, you'll see down here, uh, it looks like a normal 15 puzzle, but the 15 and 14 is uh, switched around. That um, that will result in the puzzle being unsolvable, no matter um, no matter any uh, anything you try and do to it. We'll also delve into different search algorithms, um, 
which are best for this specific scenario? Are we going to brute force search it? Are we uh, um, going to uh, filter out the best paths and just focus on that, uh, those? Um, I will be doing graphs and, and things like that as we continue to try and explain why we, we, uh, we do the things we do in this project.